Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will look at the string escape character and multi-line strings in Dart. So what we've previously done was to say that we can declare variables and we can give them values. And these values were called literals and this name and surname there that we defined as the type of string was called variables. And then we said, well, we can print out these variables by using a combination of literals and variables. And then we use this dollar sign, which is basically string interpolation, in order to access the data inside of the variable directly inside of this print statement, which means it will print out name, go to the name variable, print out Peter, print out surname, go to the surname variable, print out Pollock. And you can see there's the print statement. Or there's the printout in the console. Now, we also said that you can use for strings, you can use double quotation marks or single quotation marks. And you can see there I've used both and I've used both in this printout also. There I printed out name, there I printed out surname, and both of them printed out without any errors. So Dart allows us to have single quotation marks as well as double quotation marks as strings. Now let's look at the following print statement. Let's say we want to print out the following. So I'm going to start there and say Peter's parents stay in Hong Kong. So now on the right hand side you can see there is a bunch of errors that's uh, been thrown our way there because of this statement. So what, what's basically wrong here is that we've got the starting single quotation mark and let's just add the end single quotation mark. And you can see by doing that this list actually just grew and it just became a lot more errors. So in this case, what is happening is there's the starting single quotation mark and then Dart picks up that it ends there. So you can see that these uh, this single quotation mark here with the S is giving us a problem here. So to fix this, we can make the whole thing double quotation marks and then inside of the text I can use the single quotation mark. So which means that dot picks up my string will be between two double quotation marks and then it picks up this single quotation mark as just normal text and not as the beginning or the end of a string. So this is one way of where we can use the double quotation marks effectively. Now another way to do this, so if let's just run this quickly and you see that it prints out perfectly. Peter's parents stay in Hong Kong. So let's try and do this. I'm going to use the same thing again. I'm going to say Peter's parents stay in Hong Kong. And I'm going to leave the single quotes there. So what we can do is to use the escape character. So the escape character basically is the backslash. And that backslash basically tells us or tells the Dart compiler that whatever follows will basically be part of the string and not a special character, for example, like the single quotation mark that we have here. So now if we run this, you can see it still says Peter's parents stay in Hong Kong. So these two now effectively doing exactly the same thing. But this one is using the escape character and this one is using the double quotation marks. So it's up to you which one to use. Uh, we just see a lot of Dart code in production and also a lot of Dart code using, well, used in Flutter also and also libraries that's been created using the single quotation marks. So just be consistent in, in whatever you're using in your coding, whether it's going to be the double quotation marks or the single quotation marks. So most of the examples you could get away with, with just a simple escape character there by still using only uh, your single quotation marks. So let's look at a few other use cases for this escape character. Now, for example, in Windows, you can go and say, well, I want to go to this specific path. And let's say I'm not even sure if I've got this correct, but let's say program files. And you want to print out this to the screen or show this to a user, maybe in your mobile application or whatever. So there's the single quotation mark, the single quotation mark, everything fine. But because dot picks up the backslash as an escape character, you can see when it's printing out, it's not printing out the escape character there or the backslash. So if I want that printed out, I will need to add another backslash there and then run it again. And you can see now it makes it part of 
your string that needs to be printed out. So that's one way also of doing or using the escape character is where you want to show a path to something. You can also use a raw string. So Dart has got this very useful operator that you put an R in front of a string, which makes the whole string take or makes Dart take the whole string just as it is uh, to be printed to the screen or to be shown to the user. So just basically a raw string. So, for example, I can then go and say I want to have C backslash Windows backslash, let's say, program files. And if I run this now, we will see you get exactly the same printout there. C Windows program files. So, by adding the R before any string, we'll take that whole string as it is. And it will not look at escape characters or anything else there that's weird inside of it. It will take that as your raw string. Then another interesting use case will be if you want to tell somebody, uh, let's say, my apples cost $5 each. Now, you can see it right from the bat. It gives us a problem there. It says expected an identifier. So that dollar, if I want to say that this costs $5 each, it's got a problem with this dollar sign because you remember that the dollar sign we used here was used for string interpolation, which means that the dollar sign cannot be used directly in a string unless what follows the dollar sign will actually be a variable or some calculation that you're doing in brackets. So in order to make sure that you print out the dollar sign there, you can also use the escape character just before the dollar sign and it will then print out the dollar. Now let's look at the second part of this video and that's basically looking at multi-line strings. So I'm just going to use a simple print statement again and start with a string here. I'm going to say this is a one line long and maybe go to the next line and you can see that the print statement accepts this. I can have a string and on the next line another string again and I, I will just say add another string. Now, if I run this, you can see I've got two lines there. But if I run this, you can see it's printed directly next to each other. So this is also another nice example of where I can use the new line character and the escape character to add a new line. So it's the backslash again, the escape character with the N, which indicates a new line. So if I run this again, you'll see the change it brings is not printing out the backslash N, but it will actually print out, as soon as it does that, it will print out going to a new line. So it will be, this is one line long, going to the next line and saying, add another string. All right, so mine froze a bit. So I opened up a Chrome browser this time, and I've opened up the same coding and ran it, and there we can see the, the difference now. This is one line, uh, one line long and add another string, whereas if I remove that slash in there, it will all be directly next to each other, even though in the print statement, it seems that it seems as if it's two lines. So adding that new line character, which is the backslash in, the escape character with an in, it will add a new line for my string. Right, so that is the new line character, which is also basically just an escape character. So let's look at another way of how we can do multi-line strings in Dart. We can also have a print statement like this, have three double quotation marks and end it off at the end with three double quotation marks. And now anything that I type in between will be typed in different lines. So I can say this is line one, Go to the next line, this is line 2. Go to the next line, this is line 3. And if I print this out now on the console, you will see that it is three different lines. And then if you want to get them all on the left-hand side, you can take away some of the spaces there to print it out like this. So where will we use this um, new line character to actually go to a new line and even this multi-line um, three quote double quotation marks. So in, in Android or iOS, sometimes they, you need to have some pop-ups to show to the user and maybe then having everything in one line and going on to the next and it wraps itself. It's not, it's not user-friendly. It doesn't actually print out what you want to say. And this is then where you can use this even as a variable. So we can go and say, I'm just going to copy all of this and we can say string to be printed or to pop up to the user and you assign that string 
to a variable and just add your semicolon at the end and then I can print out or I can show a pop-up or whatever this to be printed. And now if I run this you will see the exact same output. This is line 1, line 2 and line 3. Right and this is it then for the string escape character and multi-line strings in Dart. See you in the next video.